<laughs> you guys are all going to be on my Facebook, by the way. Um, and Johnny will do most of the speaking, and I will click through. How's it going, everyone? Oh, shout out for Intel for hooking up that pizza and beer. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> As you will soon find out, we're all about hookups. Um, so, uh, how many foodies out there? Raise of hand. Nice, nice. Well, I'm a big foodie. Uh, Jenny's a big foodie. Uh, we eat at you know, all the cool restaurants, all the ones that open. We love eating out. And something really cool that happens once in a while is uh, we have this friend actually, his name's Elon, Elon Green. He owns this restaurant in downtown called Gorbos. He won uh, Top Chef season two. Uh, he's super talented chef. You should go there if you get a chance. So, you know, me and Jenny eat there a lot, and since Elon knows us, every time we eat there, he sends out like a small dish, a small cocktail, you know, the compliments of the chef. And, you know, he told, or like, what do we like to call it? A hookup. Um, on the opposite side of the problem is we go to certain restaurants a lot, and we can go there like 20 times, and like, the gen general manager, the chef, the owner, no one recognizes us. People don't even know our names. So what we want to do at Scoop is, we want to solve both problems. We want to provide... <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> we want to provide a solution that creates an awesome eating experience for anyone eating out, and we want to help restaurants recognize their regulars. So, two restaurants, two servers, one restaurant. You guys get that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, in, in, in LA alone, uh, there's 15,000 restaurants eating and drinking places. Um, so, there's always a need for restaurants to recognize your regulars. Um, and I think a regular is like someone who eats at a restaurant about once a month, minimum. Um, so yeah. So let me show you how Scoop works. So you can log into Scoop with your Facebook Connect. And uh, it's really useful because you can connect to your friends list, uh, which I'll go into why that's useful later. Um, so on the first screen, on the home screen, you'll have a list of available restaurants that Scoop works at. These restaurants are organized by location, so where you are, it'll just show you the restaurants by you that you can use Scoop at. On the right side is, once you tap a restaurant, it shows you a detailed screen. You know, we have some recommendations, some information about the restaurant, and the phone number to call. So right now, we're going to tap on the restaurant screen. And this is a list of all the restaurants you have hookups at. And from here, you can actually hit the send button and send a hookup to your friends on Facebook. Your friends on Facebook will get a notification in their little low icon, and from there they can download the app, log in, and they'll have a hookup at the restaurant. Or you can redeem it, and we're going to redeem one right now. So when you hit the redeem button, what happens is it pops up the pin screen, and all you do is give the pin your phone to the server. The server will insert a um, unique pin code unique to the restaurant. Once that happens, it takes the server to this screen, which shows my beautiful face, my name, how many times I've eaten there, and how many friends I've sent there. From this point, the server will basically hook it up accordingly. And pretty much, you get a free cocktail every time you eat out with Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we will, uh, the app's done and everything, um, we're just getting the restaurants ready, but we'll be releasing it next week, and we'll be releasing it just in downtown LA at three restaurants. Uh, Starry Kitchen, which is I think it was the number one restaurant on Yelp for like a whole year, and it was like an underground restaurant. They have a location in downtown now. Um, it'll be at La Ca, super fancy, super crazy French culinary restaurant. Yeah. And then Woodspoon, which is a favorite, it's also known to have the best chicken pot pie in America. So those are our first three restaurants that you can start using Scoop at next week. Um, and I think after that we're rolling out another 10, and then we'll expand outside downtown into the rest of Los Angeles. And here's our team. Uh, one of our advisors is the owner of Koki. You guys might have had the truck here once in a while. So we have a pretty cool team of people. That's it. You guys have any questions? Yes. You know what? Actually, that's pretty funny you say that because uh, for our yeah, it's really funny you say that. Uh, for the next big version. Oh, he hates onions, and he would like restaurants to know that he doesn't like onions when he goes there. And we're gonna solve that. So in version two, uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna have people create profiles, and before even before you get to the restaurant, as long as you have the app on, 
restaurants will have a display that shows that you're close by. It'll have a picture of your face and your name, and what you don't like or what you like. So when you walk in, they already know how to treat you, and they say hi to, you know, whatever your name may be. And it could also be like, what's your anniversary, what's your birthday, where do you like to sit in the restaurant, things like that. So the restaurant knows more about you. And, and the cool thing is, you connect it with Facebook, right? So we know your age, we know your birthday, we know your family. Yeah, so <laughs> restaurants will treat you really awesome. <laughs> yes? Um, it's actually ready to go, we just have it hidden. Uh, we're just getting the restaurants really you know, ready to go, we're just testing it out, but it'll literally be live like in seven days. So if you just actually look at the app store and then type in scoop with no E, we'll pop up the only search result. Second question? Oh, because it's hidden right now. Yeah, but next week we'll... Uh, the second question, if the restaurant wants to sign up, like, you provide the list of kind of technology, or how does it work from the restaurants? Super quick question, because uh, a lot of our favorite restaurants don't have the crazy technology. They don't even have, like, a smartphone. So what we do is, we just provide them with a PIN code. And that's all every server and every restaurant needs to know. They need nothing else. And from that point, the, uh, the customer uses his phone, gives it to the server, the server insert the code, and that's it. Yeah. Right there. I have two questions. Sure. Uh, what, I, mean, I understand the personal service aspect of this, but what differentiates you from open table, and how do you monetize this business model? Sure. Uh, so I said first. Uh, so the difference between us and open table is open table is a reser uh, reservation system. Um, and they also keep track of how many times you eat at a restaurant. The one thing they don't track, and which is really important to me because I'm a huge sneezer, they don't track how many people you send to a restaurant, ever. I don't think anything out there does. So when I send a good friend of mine to a restaurant I like, I want them to treat that friend with the same treatment they would treat me because I'm a regular. Second, uh, the second question about monetization, our very, very, very first plan is to charge restaurants $24.95 a month to be a part of the system. Uh, we have some really, really creative things down the line, but that's a little down the line. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? Oh, sure. What type of system are they going to need to be worth your system? What type of system do they need? They just need to know their PIN code. Because we have all the data, because it goes through the user's app back to us. And every month we can shoot them back uh, like a sheet with their best customers, the age, you know, everything they want to know. Mm -hmm. They would be borrowing the customer's phone to do that? Uh, only to insert the pin screen. And it's actually, we find that's actually a really nice experience when the customer actually like has a personal connection to the server. You know, you hand them something, you have a conversation, and you know, it's much better than here's our coupon coupon and then it's kind of an awkward, you know, feeling. Yeah. Back there? Yeah, I think you're too cheap. The American <laughs> Airlines, the American Airlines is about 10% of the bill. So if you go somewhere and you earn American Airlines miles, it's a hundred dollar check. They're getting ten of that. Anyways, for the future, sign up as many as you can and then raise your prices. <laughs> uh, well, you know, for, so back to Open Table really quick. I think it's like a fifteen hundred or a thousand to fifteen hundred dollar setup for the machine. Plus they charge you one per dollar per person that eats at the restaurant. I have a reservation, and I think there's a two hundred and fifty charge every month. Um, for us, we're cheap because it costs us very little to maintain our product. Um, I mean, everything's cloud. So for us, it's like pretty much every subscription is you know, pure profit. Right, and at the moment we want the restaurants to win and the users to win as well. Maybe when we get a million users, yeah. we'll make it like $39.95. <laughs> Anybody have any more questions? Last question. No? Awesome, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.